Hello, my name is Ardi and in this video, I will explain how to do loop or mesh analysis in the circuit. Some books call this mesh current analysis and I usually call it mesh analysis or loop analysis. So there are three general steps. So the first one will be label the loops. You can do clockwise or counterclockwise, it's up to you. You can just assume the direction of the current but be consistent and then the second one will be apply kvl kirchhoff voltage law to each loops and then we need to plug in all the formulas and the last thing that we need to do is to solve the equations of the loops okay so before we get in into the circuit so i want to get into step zero which is introduce the formula for the uh, mass analysis okay I need to explain about a resistor and a voltage source okay whenever we have a resistor here with the value of R and let's say if we have a loop here that pass through here and another loop that pass through there let's name this red loop as i2 and that green loop as i1 so the voltage will be the voltage will be for this case in the green loop if we analyze when we analyze the loop i1 this will be the voltage will be i1 minus i2 multiplied by r but whenever we uh, analyze this i2 we will have v is equal to i2 first minus i1 multiplied by r so this is for a resistor okay and then one more we need to know about a voltage source okay for voltage source here let's say we have the value of this voltage source as a v here so if we have a loop that going from positive to negative the value will be positive so this will be plus p but if we have another loops that going from negative negative one to the positive one so like this the sign will be negative so this will be minus p the voltage that pass through this will be minus v okay now we have some circuit and the question will be find p0 using mass analysis okay we have these two basic formula and let's now apply it step by step okay now I want to label all the loops uh, and I'm assuming the direction is clockwise so I will have this loop here and also I will have this another loop here let's name this loop as I loop number one and let's name this loop as loop number two okay so now we have two loops two analyze okay maybe our slide is full let's move on to another slide okay we now have some space here and this is to review the formula and let's start by analyzing kvl at loop one so let's write that let's write that kvl at loop one kvl at loop one So what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the current 
I mean the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, so the voltage here, 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 and here, when we add them up, we will get zero. Okay, but the technicality will be uh, different for each case. So let's start in this voltage source. Take a look here. It's flowing from negative polarity to positive polarity. So our sign will be negative. So I'll have minus and the voltage here will be 45 volt. And then plus. Here I will have this loop pass through this 2 ohm resistor. Because only one loop does pass through this 2 ohm resistor, we can just use uh, typical ohm's law, which is current multiplied by resistance. So the voltage will be 2 multiplied by the current of I1. We don't know the current of I1 yet, right? And then this one, this one, this part will be... A uh, student usually confused about this part, so... In this part, we are we are now focusing on loop 1 and the value of the resistor will be 12. So 12 multiplied by the loop that we are focusing right now, which is I1 minus, why minus? Because this current flow to the opposite direction of this loop. So I will have minus I2. Right, and then we will have for this one, we will have 4 ohm or plus 4 I1, and then yeah, that's all that will be all now because we have completed one loop, so the this all this voltage will equal to zero, so all of this will equal to zero. Okay, so let me tidy this a bit so we can read this easily. Because I want to simplify this equation. Okay, in this equation we will have 2 plus 12, that will be 14, right? 14 I1, then minus 12 minus 12 i2 but we still need to add it with 4 i1 so 14 plus 4 that will be 18 18 i1 yeah 18 i1 and we can move this minus 45 to the right hand side so i will have that will equal to 45 i think the only thing that we can do here will be simplifying this equation by dividing both sides by 3, right? And if we do that, I will have 6i1 minus 4 minus 4i2 that will equal to 15. And let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, we have two variables. So we need two equation to be able to solve this. Okay. How to get the second equation by using KVL at loop number 2. So now let's do KVL for loop number 2. KVL at loop 2. Okay. Now I will start from this 12 ohm resistor. Now because we are focusing on loop 2. So we will write I2 first. So I will have 12 multiplied by I2 minus because I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I1, right? And then this one, I will have 9. And the only current that pass through this 9 ohm will be I2. And then this current pass through this voltage store voltage source uh, passing through this positive polarity first and then negative so 
because it is entering the positive polarity the sign will be also positive and that will the value will be 30 and lastly we will have 3 multiplied by i2 that will equal to 0 it's going pass through here so let's move it here okay now let's do some mathematical simplification i think the only i1 that i can get from here will be minus 12 i1 right minus 12 i1 yeah minus 12 i1 and then 12 i2 plus 9 i2 will be 21 i2 21 i2 plus 3 i2 that will be 24 plus 24 i2 and i can move this plus 30 to the right hand side so i will have that will be minus 30 okay i think we can divide both sides by minus 6 right so i will have 2i1 and then for this one i will have minus 4 i2 and on the right hand side i will have minus 30 divided by minus 6 that will be 5 right so this will be equation So now we have two equation with two variable. This is the first equation and this is the second equation. So now what can we do from here? Let's solve the math. So let's do that. Okay, now from the loop one, we get this equation and from loop two, we get this equation. And as usual if we have two two equations with two variables we can solve this by using substitution or elimination because this is minus 4 and minus 4 whenever i subtract this this will cancel out right so if i subtract this i will have 4 i1 and i2 will cancel each other and on the right hand side i will have 10 so i will get i1 is equal to 2.5 ampere so this is i1 and then for i2 what can we do for finding i2 yeah just substitute this i1 into one of this equation i want to substitute into the second equation so i'll have 2 i1 but i1 is 2.5 and then minus 4 i2 and that will equal to 0 and I think 5 minus 4i2 is equal to 5. And from here, you can see that i2 will be 0 ampere. Okay. Uh, then what? Then the question is asking for V0. What is V0? V0 will be, because this is a voltage, and the plus sign is here, usually the current pass through a resistor from positive sign to negative sign. So if we are asked to find out this V0, we start from the current that pass through positive to negative first. so that will be i1 and then minus i2 and then multiplied by 12 so i will have 2.5 minus 0 multiplied by 12 so i will have 2.5 multiplied by 12 what is it i think that will be 30 right 30 2.5 multiplied by 12 that will be 5 divided by 6 30 yeah i think that will be 30 oh 
So I will have V0 is equal to 30 volt. And this is the final answer for the question. Okay, hopefully I did not make any mistake when explaining and hopefully this help you understand mass analysis or loop analysis. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.